All right, Shalom, Shalom, Yah Sharala, back at it again with another Lord with an edifying video through the spirit and the power of Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shah, Bahashim, Rachak Wadash. Before I go any further, I want to give all honor and all glory and all praises to our Heavenly Father and to His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shah, Bahashim, Rachak Wadash. And next up, double honors to our apostles and our elders, the Great Millstone. Who we'll still go out there in the highways and hedges and feed us with the 100% true according to the Bible and Ruel and Shalom, Labachoyim, Wabarakim, Shagar Sharala, which is peace and blessings to the elect of the nation of Israel in the Lashawan Kodash, the Hebrew tongue. In the name of this lesson is going to be called through the Spirit. Uh, it was the word that gathered us, all right, or the word gathered us together, you see. And I'm going to pull out some scriptures, some precepts of proving that. So the first precept we're going to grab is the book of Baruch, chapter 4, verse uh, 37. Yep, this is the book of Baruch 4 and 37. It says, Lo, thy sons come. Now the sons, meaning the Israelites, all right, the so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native American Indians, as well as the Israelite foreigners, who look like the other heathen nations, but on the sea line of their father go back to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. So lo, thy sons come, whom thou sentest away. Right, by way of slavery, man. You see, 70 AD, then the, uh, the transatlantic slave trade, us being carried off into these different lands, you know, worshiping the servant of the gods, right? We lost, we discontinued from our heritage. So the Lord sent us away for a period of time, right? It says, they come gathered together from the east to the west, right, all over the world, all right? You know, uh, when the word was preached here in America, starting off with the uh, elder Abba Bevins, all right, to, uh, you know, high priest Ariab, you know, King Masha, you know, uh, elder Yaiqua, you know, to our elder apostles on down, man. You see, elder apostles, elder bishops on down, all right? So now we got camps all over the world now. Preaching Yahweh by Shemiah teaching the truth according to the scriptures, right? It says, by the word of the Holy One. See, by the word, man, by the scriptures, all right? Because these brothers in these other countries, man, you see, you know, you know all over the world, you know, we, we, we haven't personally met them, you see? So, but by the word, by the spirit of Yahweh, by Shema Shah, it gathers them into the brotherhood. And now they're on there on the highways and hedges teaching in their language, you know, in different countries, right? It says rejoicing in the glory of Yahweh, by Shema Shah, right? See, which is the name and also the truth. I right, rejoicing that we got this truth, the 100% truth of the scriptures, all right? Which was taught to us uh, by our elder apostles, the elder bishops on down, all right? So now let's go to the book of Baruch, chapter 5, verse 5. It says, Arise, O Jerusalem. Now, Jerusalem, meaning the Israelites, because it's the people before it's a place. But hold on, let me pause that. Let me prove it through the scriptures. Give me one second. Here, this is the book of 2 Maccabees, chapter 5, verse 19. It says, nevertheless, Yahweh Shemel Shah did not choose the people for the place sake, but the place for the people's sake. Right, see? So wherever Yahweh Shemel Shah, you know, planted his people at, you know, that's uh well, you know, that's that's Jerusalem. You see? So where is the majority of our people at in these times in America? Alright? So when it says arise O Jerusalem, it's talking about the Israelites. All right, wherever they be at, but mainly here in America, right? It says, stand on high. It says, and look toward the east, right? And it says, and behold, thy children gathered from the west unto the east, right? See, when it says, look toward the east, because that's where our homeland is, man. You see? And it reads on, and it says, uh, Gathered together, means like, and thy children gathered from the west unto the east by the word of the Holy One, rejoicing in the remembrance of Yahweh Bashim al Shah. Right, yeah, because we once forgot this, man. The wisdom and knowledge and understanding of the scriptures that we got today, we didn't have that during the time of slavery. You see, 
Because uh, Jeremiah 17 to 4 uh, had to come to pass, man. Even thou, uh, even thou shalt discontinue from thy heritage, man. Even Jeremiah discontinued from his heritage, you know, uh, in that reincarnation. All right. But now through the spirit of Yahweh Shai, you know, through Lord Yahweh Shai, uh, shedding his blood, you know, starting with the elect of the nation of Israel, we were able to uh, get this wisdom and eyes understanding again. All right. He put the spirit on his men to uh, teach the scriptures. So now, it's like you. Now let's go to the book of Isaiah. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 34. Let's see. Verse 16, it says, Seek ye out of the book of the Lord and read. Right, see? So, the word seek means to search or attempt to find. All right? We was, we, we us as Israelites had the spiritual connection to the Lord. So, all of our people trying to find the truth. But we know according to Romans 11 and 7, uh, the election is only going to obtain it and the rest is going to be blinded, right? So seek ye out of the book of the Lord, a.k.a. the Bible, and read, which means to understand. And it says, and the only way how you can understand the scriptures is if the spirit of Yahweh Bashima Shah be on you. If the Lord send you that Holy Spirit on you, right? Yahweh Bashima Shah sending that angel down to un unlock your uh, understanding, you know what I'm saying? And make you able to uh, understand the scriptures. It says, no one of these shall fail, meaning the prophecies. None of the prophecies of old has failed, man. You see, us going into slavery, you see, that didn't fail. That was a prophecy that came to pass. The flood during the time of Noah, that came to pass. The downfall of Egypt during the time of Moses, that came to pass. All right, Lord Yahweh Shah fulfilling the prophecies about him in the Old Testament, that came to pass. So the prophecies in these times, the last days, or the destruction of America and the salvation of the elect and these heathens being in slavery, that's going to come to pass as well. And it says, none shall want her mate, meaning you can't uh, mix, because that's what the word uh, mate means to uh, to mix, all right, or to integrate. You can't integrate or mix this, this, this truth with any other philosophy, man. It's not going to work. It's like oil and water, all right? This Bible stands alone. It says, for my mouth we have commanded it, and his spirit, he have gathered them. And we know the spirit of the Lord is the uh, the understanding of the scriptures. All right. Because a lot of people got the Bible. They got access to the Bible. But majority of the people can't understand it. All right. So his spirit, the understanding of the scriptures has gathered them. Gather who? That would be us. A.K.A. the whole four elect. Starting off for the head apostles and elder bishops on down. So now let's grab some more precepts. As a matter of fact, let's go to the book of Revelation. And then we're going to grab that other one. This is the book of Revelation, the first chapter. Bear with me. This is Revelation chapter 1, verse 3. It says, Blessed is he that readeth. Now, they, he's referring to the Israelites. All right, the men, the so called Negro, Latino, Native American, Indian men. It says, Blessed, which the word blessed goes back to favorite. All right, you know, and it also goes back to happy. Like the scripture says, happy is the man that finds the wisdom, right? Blessed is the man that readeth, which means to understand the scriptures. And they that hear the words of this prophecy, which is in the Bible, those who understand it. And keep those things which are written therein, right? Which is what? The faith, you know, having faith in Yahweh by Shimei Shai until the end. Even if you got to get put to death, you know? Keeping the truth, continuing what we were learning, right? Holding fast unto the Lord. This says, for the time is at hand, right? What time? The time of this devil getting out of rulership, man. You know? And before but before that happens, you know, the Lord got to have this devil come down on our people with great wrath. That Revelation 12 and 12 got to come to pass, you know? As well as the race riots, as well as the uh, the civil war. You know, so on and so forth, right? The prophecies. So now, let's go to uh, St. John. Let's go to St. John, right? Because that was the Apostle John in Revelation. So now we're about to get Apostle John again, all right? This is Lord Yahweh Shah speaking, who the war England calls Jesus Christ. This is the book of St. John 5 and 39. Search 
the scriptures, the scriptures meaning the Bible. And it says, in them ye think ye have eternal life, right? See, and the only ones that's going to receive eternal life, aka those bodies, and get delivered, you know, is going to be the elect, all right? And it says, and the wisdom and knowledge and understanding that we have of the scriptures is going to go up in, with us in those chairs if we be those men, right? It says, and they, it's like, and they are they which testify of me, meaning the Lord Yahweh Shai was in the Old Testament, fulfilled this uh, prophecy in the Old Testament about him, man. Okay, because he's written in the volume of the book. So that's what it means when it says it's testify of me, meaning, you know, he comes in a volume of the book. Let me see. So that was it on that scripture. Let's go to the book of Sirach. Let's go back to the Apocrypha. All right, let's keep these precepts rolling. This is the book of Sirach or Ecclesiasticus, chapter 2, verse 10. It says, look at the generations of old and see, right, the records, all right, which is what? Written in the scriptures, written in the Bible, right? It says, did ever any trust in the Lord and was confounded? Meaning no. It says, or did any abide in his fear, which the word abide means to remain, remained in his fear and was forsaken? And the answer is no. Or whom did he ever despise, which means to hate, that called upon him? And, the, and, and, and nobody, man, except those who call his name in, in, in insincerity, meaning they're using the name of the Lord in vain. Those who the one who Yahweh is going to get put down. All right, those who know that they're Israelites, you know what I'm saying, that um, uh, woke up with who they are, you know, but they teaching lies, man, the Lord is going to start off with them because they, 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 they the worst of our people, man, you see, they're the most wicked, so they got to get a gruesome death, so that was it on that scripture. So, yeah, that was pretty much it on the lesson through the spirit of Pavi Abashi, my shot. Pretty, it was edifying. Till next time, Lord's willing, I say, Shalom.